I just got my first audition request since 2020. In four years, I got an audition request for in person. It's for a feature film. I had the opportunity to also, if I couldn't make it in person, to do a self-tape. It would be so much fun if I actually had somebody directing me. It's going to be a drive. It's going to be an adventure, but I really want to do an in-person audition. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm about to head out to my audition. It is quite a drive, so at least I have some time in the car to do all of the things. Something that's helping me calm down is the fact that I met the producer yesterday. I was volunteering to read some shorts um, online. He happened to be there, and so I chatted him. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm auditioning for you tomorrow. He seemed nice. I only saw him speak for a few seconds, but he seemed nice. But at the very least, that I have that to go off of. This is my first in-person audition since 2020 or 2019. I cannot remember. I got this script, I believe, three days ago. And I chose this specific time to audition because it's quite a drive so i just wanted to make sure i had some time in the morning and have some time in the, in the evening to be able to do other things but um i printed out the script yesterday i like finished memorizing it last night went through it a few times and i'm just like not as prepared as i could be if i was to do this as a self-tape audition i would have all day today still to prepare it and film it and if i was unhappy with the take film it again and then send in the best take instead i wanted to do an person audition there's definitely a few things that i think i'm going to benefit from being um, going to a in-person audition because you have the feedback you can ask questions you can ask to go again clarification for a certain line because the first line i don't quite know i haven't found exactly like what i'm trying to achieve by it if it's a joke who am i making fun of am i trying to be funny to make my friend happy like i just don't understand so i'm definitely going to ask clarification for that but this is my outfit i wanted my necklace but i can't find it and then i'm gonna wear these shoes i did not put on perfume because i don't know how big the room is gonna be so i don't want somebody to get a headache or sneeze or feel sick from the scent of my perfume not that i wear a crazy one and i'm bringing an extra pair of socks because i feel like my feet are gonna get sweaty from being nervous so let's leave a little early just in case there's extra traffic Finally made it, because I wanted to be safe while I was driving. Let me just recap what I did. For a little while, I was just silently driving. And then I saw some sheep and some horses. Then I ran my lines a few times different ways to make sure I have the lines down and to just play ar around with it. No, my watch says I'm stressed. I'm fine. <laughs> Stop watch. And then I did a five minute vocal warm up so that I can make sure I'm nice and loud. <clears throat> and then I remembered what 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 is the thing you bring with you to auditions script no your phone no your headshot and resume i know this is such an old thing but you always want to have your headshot and resume just in case they ask you for it i don't even think about printing it it's like 99 percent chance that they're not going to ask me for a headshot and resume because they have all of my information already so it's gonna be fine. I can't see the numbers of any of these places, but I think I'm in the right place. This parking is two hour parking. Let's check for any other signs. So let's go inside. Ah, that went really well. I think that went really well. Um, they gave me some redirects and I did the scenes, the second scene that's a little bit more emotional, I did once. And then the other scenes I did three times. The line that I was worried about, they were like, oh yeah, that was fine. And then we went to like the, the part of the scene that it's more me heavy. They had me do it like one time really reassuring my best friend and the other time just trying to make her laugh. Thank goodness there was a wall next to me because in this one we're shopping for a large, it's not furniture, but it's just like a big box basically. I had a wall next to me, which was great because I, I was able to like knock on the wall, feel the wall and everything. So I had a lot of fun with that. And um, the director was my reader. The producer was filming and he was the one that I met yesterday. I think they were really enjoying my audition because I connected really well with the director. I think she might be an actress because she was a phenomenal reader. Like I really could feel um, feed off of her. And then the producer, I can see him from the 
corner of my eye like laughing or nodding and I was like yes so I feel really good about this audition oh I forgot to ask them about how I even found this audition because I, I emailed them like my headshot and resume from posts that I saw either on a Facebook group for like filmmakers or on Instagram something I do not miss about in-person auditions is the fact that I just drove a long distance I was in the room for mm, maybe like 10 minutes if that anyways that was really fun and easy and as a little treat i haven't had any coffee this morning so as a little treat i'm gonna go find a coffee place maybe i can walk from here and leave my car i'm just gonna guess that if i did get the role they'll tell me soon i know there was something that i submitted to oh, there's so many things that i submitted to that were feature films that we're gonna be filming in march there was one thing recently that it would be filming in April, but for the most part, I believe that this project is gonna be filmed very, very soon. So if I do get the role, I'm gonna hear about it soon. If I don't, then I'm gonna realize I never got the role once I hear that the project came out. It's just another audition. It just happens to be in person, which is why it's more of like heightened. You know, like, oh, are they gonna like me? Am I gonna do well? Versus filming it at home, where we can, you can do as many takes as you want, where you can prepare longer. Let's wait and see when I hear back. Well, it's about a week later, and I just got an email that says I did not book the job. The night of the audition, though, I did get a DM from the producer saying that I killed it. So that made me feel pretty good. And just meeting the producer and the director, they're definitely people that I would love to work with. So even though I didn't book this specific audition, I definitely booked something in the future. Next time I audition for them, they'll remember me. They'll remember me auditioning for this. It was really fun going into an in-person audition after so many years. And I really hope this is not the last one because it just felt good. It felt good to be able to interact with the filmmakers while auditioning. It took me way too long <laughs> to realize this, but my new favorite way to meet filmmakers is at a film festival. Like it just makes so much sense, but it wasn't until I was at a film festival last summer that I was like, oh, this is so much better than just auditioning for a bunch of people, not even really knowing their vibe or what they're all about. Watch this film festival vlog. I went to the Brave Maker Film Festival last summer. And if you're in California, willing to fly or drive to California, definitely recommend this. I booked three jobs by spending a whole weekend talking to like so many people interacting with them, telling them what I'm about, learning about them.